Okay, plus size pop star here, and today's recipe is going to be a simple beet green salad. Usually, when people buy beets, fresh beets at the grocery store, they cut the leaves off and throw them away and then cook the beets. I save the leaves and cut it off and save in a different bag to use for a salad or a stew or something later on. Make sure you wash it real good right before you use it. Some people wash it before they put it in storage. I wash it right before I use it. So, I've already cut this right when I had bought this. So I'm just going to put it in water and let that soak. I'm going to cut it in half a little bit because this is a lot of beet greens here. And we have a big family. And we're going to want a lot of salad. I like to use both the beet greens and the stems. The red part, the stems too. It's really nutritious. A lot, a lot of iron right there. Yes, I'm cutting it in the water to make it easier for myself. Make sure, you, make sure you wash these greens real good because all the dirt from the farm is usually still on it. All the dirt. Yeah. And sometimes bugs. Okay, so while that is soaking, I'm going to move this out of the way. <laughs> and I'm going to prepare the rest of the salad here. I'm actually going to Sometimes I like to just wing things because if I don't have enough ingredients, but it's basically going to have beet greens, spinach, baby lettuces, some tomatoes, and of course red onions. Red onions are good for the lungs and it helps if you have breathing issues to uh, put red onions in a stew or a soup. It'll help you breathe better. So I'm going to just a few. Just a few chops here, and the red onions are ready. So let me prepare the salad. I like to layer and line the salad with spinach first, then the lettuces, then the beet greens, and of course, relayer it spinach, lettuces, and beet greens. Just whatever you have, you know. Be creative. This is fresh finished from the bag, already pre-washed, by the way. And so is the lettuce from the bag, already pre-washed. So I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm actually washing 
the beet greens. I'm going to strain the water out of it just so I can, uh, I don't want the salad to be extra soggy and wet, so. Alrighty. Squeeze it a little bit. Just leave it dry. And put it in the strainer. Oh, ooh, not that much water. That's good. And put it right here over the top of the container with the onions, but I have a paper towel in between it so it can drain out and dry for a little bit. Yeah. Squeeze real quick. And just drain out and dry that. done. Okay. This is so delicious. If it's not cut to your desired length, I like to just kind of chop up the beet stems a little bit more. You know, but I like to leave it semi-long just so people can see that this is attached to the actual beet leaf so it gives it a nice different level of texture from the other uh, lettuces and of course from the spinach so and i love the red stems that is so gorgeous such a pretty color and such a nice flavor This is a long piece here. So it looks like the salad bowl, see that the salad bowl is already filling up. So I might not have to layer it again too much. I might just add a couple spinach uh, leaves to the top just so I can get that different level of uh, a different look of a variety. So I'll just do that. So. And for those of you who actually take iron tablets, iron pills, if you eat beet greens, and of course if you eat beets, you won't have to take iron pills anymore. Uh, always discuss it with your physician, but I guarantee you, if you eat the foods that have the vitamin of iron in it, There'll be no need for taking iron, iron pills. So, this is a lot of greens, but it's a big family. So, we're going to love having this. Yeah. Yeah. You put a little spinach in here just so we can have some layers. A little more spinach. And spinach is a great source of iron also. That's why we're going heavy on the spinach and all the greens. Actually, dark leafy greens is great for cancer and other illnesses if you want to like compress that and uh, decline your chances of cancer and other diseases. Dark leafy greens actually helps. So, looks like I'm not going to need too much of anything else because this is already filled up. But what I am going to do, just kind of toss it a little bit before I put the onions and the tomato, just so I can get a little bit of the baby lettuce to be showing here. Everything's flying on the floor. Alrighty. Toss it a little bit here. Yeah, let's toss it from the middle if we can. Yeah. There you go. Some of the baby lettuce just to show a little bit that there is a variety. There you go. Yeah. There you go. 
and I'm just going to add the onions. Add some of the onions here sparingly. Which gives it such a nice flavor and a nice color. A nice look. You can actually make this dish and bring it to a potluck or a picnic if you like. Highly nutritious, disease preventing, and iron filled, healthy salad. And I believe there were a few tomatoes here. I love cherry tomatoes. I love, love, love cherry tomatoes. So I'm going to cut. Up. Put it in here first because the juice is spread out. And then cut. There we go. Just a few. Not very much. But it adds to the color. Wish I had more cherry tomatoes though. And that's it. That's all we have. Simple beet green salad, and this is the creation. So beautiful. Enjoy. I hope this helps you in creating other different kinds of salads and help helps you know which salad is good for your body and good for your nutrition. Okay.